name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. Today we are back with more fairy tale. We are watching episode 129, Raging Battle Natsu vs. Loxus. I'm just reading that title for the first time. That was very exciting. <laughs> um, that sounds cool. Because uh, Loxus came in in Tenro, and I while he was strong. I was a little disappointed that he wasn't the one to like fully protect Fairy Tail, though his power helped not to protect Fairy Tail. I'm just a little disappointed that he didn't, but we will see with Loxus in this episode. Maybe I will start feeling like I could, you know, accept him again and forgive him. We will see. I'm a bit of a bitter person. I hold grudges. But I can forgive eventually, like we forgive <laughs> Loki. But to be fair, it was for no reason. And Jalal, we have, oh, I'm still a little bitter, but I'm working on it. I'm caring about where he is and his safety. So obviously he's getting there to me. <laughs> so I'm excited to continue watching. Keep in mind, guys, if you want to see my reactions early to fairy tale, you can go to my Patreon page, link down in the description below to get access over there. But without further ado, let's get started. Oh, don't let it get you down, Lucy. I'm sure you can find out what it means. Oh, mm. is it still glowing? We've taken a new job request. There's some bad guys stealing gold that we need to catch. I oh, hope it's not the butt jiggle gang again. No, no, no! it is, we got to put a stop. Please don't. Sorry, but I'm going to pass on this one. Then we'll be leaving. Cool. Okay. Wait, hang on a sec. When you say we, are you talking about just the two of us going? Oh. Do you have a problem with that? Of course not. If we hurry, we may be back before nightfall. Okay. Ah! This is a major problem, Gray. You should have insisted that I come along yeah, with you. Yeah, actually. Oh, my darling, be so cruel. But, like, actually, though, he should have just asked for Juvia to come with. She's very capable. Why do we never ask Juvia to come with? Boring. Come on, it's a matter of blood or death here, Natsu. How oh, can anyone be bored by that? Okay, I'll step out of it, I promise. Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh, hi. What do you want? <laughs> oh? I was just thinking about how much I want to settle the score with those fairy tale losers. One of them walks oh. on my turf. Monkey's got a bone to pick. Yeah, I gotta pick which one I want to break first. You're in for the shock of your life. Oh. Okay. Odd way to start this episode. No way. I know what that means. Huh? Yeah. What are you talking about? So Loxus is Loxus around. Is here. I was wondering where he'd run off to. I yeah. guess he picked the wrong neighborhood. But Master didn't let him get back into the guild, True. did he? True. I wonder what he's doing around here. I'm gonna find out. I mean, he probably just wants to be a part of the guild, you know? What's up, <laughs> metalhead? None of your business, playing brain. Are you oh. going somewhere? Why are you? I asked you first, didn't I? Yeah, who cares? Oh, I love you too. I don't want it, so get lost! <laughs> I love my boys. We need to go see what that random lightning strike was about. What? I already told you it was Loxus, didn't <laughs> I? I'm going to go put the smack down on him. Oh. Please, you don't have a snowball's chance in hell against him. Remember last time? Oh, shit. Gotcha wants to go fight. Oh, because they both lost, technically. You need major help in hand. He still beat the ever-loving snot at you. Oh, they both want a rematch. Oh, this is fun. I'll okay. beat him with my own two hands. Not if I get to him first. <laughs> Who's beating who again? Oh, oh, oh. You heard us. Whoa! That lightning really was him after all. <laughs> the thunder legion. You've been living out in the woods this entire time. <laughs> I traveled around quite a bit, but I've been here for a little while. If you're this close, you should just come back to the guild already. Aww. Why is that? Have you been missing me? Huh? I don't give a crap if you come back or not. But since we're here, hey, I think rude. we should throw it out and see who comes out on top. S sounds good to me. You guys really want me to take the bait, don't you? Aww. You want to go and get me all riled up and ready to fight? Well, I got better things to do. Okay. Like run away? What? You've never been the type of guy who backed down from a challenge. So what are you scared of? You'd be wise to mind your tongue, Natsu. <laughs> okay, fine. Whoa! You'll have 
have to go through the Thunder Legion. Lux's faith in our own shall never again be torn asunder! Okay. Sounds like fun to me. <laughs> All right, Natsu. Guess you're first in line. Oh. Okay. Wait, hold on! Huh? Oh, hi, honey. You gotta make sure that it's a special occasion! I don't oh? follow you. That will take place tomorrow. <laughs> um, a whole event. Uh, Wait one more day to kick his butt. Meet me tomorrow under the big solar tree in Southgate Park. And when he's done, it'll be my turn. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. Okay. Thanks, Wendy, for delaying the fight. Did you know Loxus was around? The big time fights are so manly. <laughs> this is gonna be the best one ever. Should we be worried about Natsu and Gajio getting hurt? Nah. Those two don't stand a chance against him. Oh. Is he really that much stronger than them? Back when he was still a member, I'd say that probably the only one more powerful than him was Guildarts. The master of the guild, I'd better get this party started. <laughs> yeah! It'll be a fight party! The manliest kind there is! That's a great a idea! Turn this into something fun for everyone! All right! What, are we gonna place bets on them? What are we doing? This is crazy! What's going on? We made a whole festival? Having so much fun and all the food is wonderful. <laughs> Michelle! Jeez, does she have a hollow leg or something? I love her. <laughs> She's so cute. Please don't let her be bad. I will be so upset. I've grown very attached to Michelle very quickly. Magnolia sure does love the party. Well, I know you probably don't care, but we weren't getting anywhere figuring out that ancient language. So this seemed like a good way to unwind for a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been too long. But your favorite reporter, Jason is here. Oh, hey, bud. Yeah, it's been a while. We missed you, honey. Bring it on, big sis! Right at the stage, Mira! Aww. I hate to break it to you, but my poor throat has been feeling awfully sore all day. No! I was just planning on hitting him hard with everything I've already got. Of course. Why would I ever think that you would have any yeah, real strategy no, yeah. in mind? Because that, that'll work. You know he's got to be really afraid he'll get beat. So he's probably somewhere doing some kind of super crazy training. Instead, let me introduce a singer who's got soul and... <gasps> God damn! Put your hands together. What the fuck is he doing up there? Does it look like training? Oh my God, I love him. I love him. <laughs> I appreciate you coming out to see me. <laughs> I didn't come to see you. I came here to see Gonjo, so shut your whore mouths! You trying to tell me someone actually asked for this? I did! Doesn't he know any other songs? I don't know if I like this side of Gajil all that much. His singing is pretty bad. He's super bad! No! That's good! Levy! You're just in time. I need your beautiful brain to translate an ancient inscription. Levy, support your man. Come on now. I need their <laughs> At least we were able to locate their hideout. Now all we need to do is wait for them to return with the stolen gold in hand. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Man, so now what? Being stuck alone with Urza is so awkward. Aww. I never know what to do or talk about. You're not stripping. What? <laughs> I would assume you'd feel more comfortable sleeping naked. <laughs> kind of depends on my mood. I mean, you're still just hanging out in full armor. You make a valid point, I oh. suppose. Uh oh. Okay. I thought she was going to requip, but okay. Gray. Uh huh. Sleep. Yeah, sure. <laughs> She's so forward and demanding like that. She was more of a lady, not some boy, great pussy! He needs a more tender and loving approach. <laughs> Bedtime, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let my imagination. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Gray. Wow. She fell asleep right away. How can she even get comfortable? <sighs> oh! And they were roomy. God, they were roommates. Seeing her all peaceful and quiet like this makes me realize how pretty she is. Oh! oh. Gray? Looks like it. Let's go. Yeah. I was tested, but I knew my darling Gray was saving himself from me. Um, he was giving her quite the look, ma'am. 
Yeah, says who? I'm Urza Scarlet, a wizard from Fairy Tale. You didn't really have to take the question so literally, you know? Great. <laughs> Their dynamic is really weird. It's like awkward. Now hand over the gold immediately. <laughs> we thought they might send someone. So we hired ourselves some bodyguards. We're giving you a pretty big chunk of the loot. So you'd better deal with these fairy pests. Too Hi. bad you're up against the Vanish Brothers. Vanish Brothers? Quick. Oh, well, Juvia, come help. I mean, you're right here. Come, come, come. I've heard about you before. Have yeah, you? me too. These are the same guys that Natsu beat the crap out of at Duke Everloo's place. You're talking oh. about ancient history, pal. We've been training nonstop since that day. I didn't even recognize them. I've often wondered about mercenary guilds. How much power could one have with no loyalty whatsoever? Let me handle hmm. these guys by myself. Oh, oh, okay. Natsu didn't have a problem with it. Ah. So I'm sure it'll be just as easy for me. Well, they're seven years stronger. Remember, this is just business, so there's no need to take things personally. And our job is to cave in his skull, right? Yes, so let's get to work. I'll put you on ice. Uh. It seems this one is an ice wizard. Frying pan is perfectly suited to absorb fire attacks. I'm sure ice uh. will prove to be even easier. Ice make less! Crap it, double its strength, and send it right back. Oh, I do remember them now. Hit me with that. Oh. Let's give him double trouble. Oh. Heaven and Earth annihilation technique. We strike on the Earth. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. Natsu may have defeated them once, but that was over seven years ago. Yeah. Perhaps they truly have improved. Don't worry, my dear. I will save you. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I got this. Like, okay. She needs to. Oh. You talk a big game, but I feel just. Fine. Oh, the clothing are off. Be serious now. It's getting hot in here. So, hot. so take off all your clothes. Oh, oh, okay. He's mm. just so amazing. <laughs> God, I love Juvia. As long as she's in the background, I'm content. I'm surprised you took that long to beat them. I wanted to have a little fun, too. Oh, shit. Turn every ounce of gold you stole from our client. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am! Crystal clear! Oh, I can go home knowing my love is safe. <laughs> oh, I do like that he always kind of notices Juvia. It's cute. When word got out that you were having a fight, the whole town decided to throw a big party. You've Ooh. seen this, Loxus. You're still quite the celebrity around here. Aww. Yeah, I see they're all still a bunch of idiots. You're a true legend of the fairy tale guild. So why don't you realize how much we all desperately need you to be a part of the yourself, again? man. Thanks a lot, Grandpa. Aww. But don't tell your mom, okay? The only reason I told them to wait a day is so they could calm down a bit and call off the fight. I never thought it'd turn into such a big deal. Something troubling you, Wendy? Hey. Master. Natsu and Gajiel are in trouble. They're Aww. about to have a fight against Loxus. They're going wild! <laughs> oh, he didn't know. Uh-oh. Oh, Gajiel's going first? I thought Natsu was. The tension is so thick, you can cut it with a knife! Oh, Lily's here to support him! <laughs> like, why wouldn't Lily be here? But it's so cute! All oh. three warriors are in their places! Wait, are we now check this out. all fighting? Are we all fighting at the same time? Or are they waiting like turns? First crack at him. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. I got it. Let's do this thing. Bring it. If you don't survive this, it ain't my fault. I could say the same for you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the poor kid didn't land a single hit. Oh my gosh! Great job as usual, Loxus. The little guy still got oh. nothing on you, buddy. So yeah, got you. you. Ready for round two? Got you. He's gone. Oh, got you. Just ghosted. that I ever thought. <laughs> oh, Natsu one hit down and then Gajo's like, nope. <laughs> oh, okay. Drama.
This is written in ancient Potomelian. I've never oh. heard of that. Do you know what it says? Time ticks forward, on toward inevitable chaos. Sounds familiar. I know I've heard it somewhere before, but where? Hmm. Okay. You're okay. just gonna take off again? <laughs> Please, come back to fairy tale. Hasn't his expulsion from the guild lasted long enough? Take him back. Oh. Or this. Here it is. I found it. I was sure that I had read it somewhere before, and it's in this book. It's about an old clock that passes from one owner to the next over a long period of time. And a lot of mysterious things happen around it throughout oh. its history. Check out this picture. <gasps> this isn't just some random object. It's the hand of a clock. So we have, we're sp supposed to keep this piece safe, then, I would assume, because we don't want to complete the clock, because that would go towards doom. Ma Cow and the others went out looking for him, <laughs> but no one knows where he is. I think I can hear Gaziel outside. Oh? Where have you been? Oh, that's not Gaziel. I don't believe it. Oh! 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 That one! No, the two! They looked like the people from... The magical place we got Lizana. The one looked like the one chicky poo that had the the key. The little Kiru girl. And the one looked like the one person. What are they what, am I crazy? Why are they here? Why are they, why are they here? I'm so confused. Okay, I didn't really look up their names because I I don't want to spoil it if it is or is not them. I just I had to relook up what it was called Edelis. I was really struggling to remember the name Edelis. It looked like the people from Edelis, like the one girl. I mean, they obviously look like seven years older, but that one girl looked like her, the little one, the little Kiki or whatever her name was. And then the one looked like that one soldier with the wand. And then I'm going to guess the last one, maybe it was like the sugar boy guy, but like he looked really different. He looked elvis -y. So weird, because I don't know if they are the actual Edelus versions that somehow got here, or are they the versions in our world that we've never met before? Because that's kind of cool to see. I'm a little bit freaked out if it's the Edelus versions, because like we are supposed to be separate from Edelus now. We are not supposed to see Mistigan again. So that would be weird if Mistigan came back. That would be really, really weird. I'm going to guess that these are just the normal versions of our world and not the Edelus versions that we had fought and, you know, have history actually with. But I don't know. That's so weird. I did not expect to see them, especially here and in this arc. But I am interested to see why they would show up and why, why now and what they want from us such a interesting little turn of events that i just wasn't expecting um off of that topic though to the uh important one the loxus being back potentially in the guild now i do think loxus you know has learned and grown granted i think it's only been like at most a, like one year for Loxus though. At most he has learned and grown. And that's at best. Like I think it's only been six months to a year. And I just, I feel like he needs more time, but I feel like things have really escalated and changed that maybe it is okay if he rejoins the guild. I just think we really need to double check his intentions and have like a little sit down heart to heart with him because I, I think he has changed. He does seem like he's grown. I think he understands where he went wrong and granted, yes, when he used fairy law, he did not actually hurt anybody because his intentions were, you know, not malicious. But the fact that he even still thought it and wanted to do it and like weed out the weak type of mentality is still alarming to me. And so I am a bit more calculating and 
defensive with allowing Loxus back in. Where with Jalal, he kind of had a pass because he was being manipulated and kind of brainwashed. So I struggled with forgiving him, but I also understood that he had no control and was being used as well. And I could let that go. And the fact that he also wanted to turn himself in and atone for his sins is good. Granted, he kept trying to sacrifice himself and it's like, please stop that. Like, I'm mad at you. Stop doing that. <laughs> and Loki, Loki, I was just kind of like mad at for no reason. So it was like easier to forgive him. And then, of course, he was like super cute. And then it's like, OK, I guess I forgive you, LOL. <laughs> um, So Lox is a harder one for me. I think I can let it go eventually. I need more time. But I am still upset at his character, but I can I understand he just wanted the best for fairy tale. I could get that mentality. I just don't forgive his tactic of doing it. Like he could have just like ran a boot camp for everybody to help them get stronger, you know? And like that's kind of like the whole point of like the S class like contest is to like, you know, promote one of our strong people to S class. So it's like, it doesn't matter if we have some like weaklings in the guild, like just let them be. I get it. Like it does cost money to feed them and do stuff, but like, yeah, yeah, no, just let them be like, don't, don't worry about it, bro. Like stop, stop hassling everybody, <laughs> you know, like let them go. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So <laughs> Logs is literally just like one punch KO Natsu is crazy and i think it actually made me more upset at the fact that like loxus did not like he wasn't the one to finish off hades i really wanted him to be and that was kind of like his you know like i don't need any thanks blah 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 and like maybe we forgive him from that but i know not to not to get stronger the power of friendship i know i know like we heard it from lasagna like when he has his friends beside him he's stronger when he has a reason to fight for master all these things he becomes stronger and not to definitely has more limitless potential because he is a real dragon slayer compared to loxus so i do understand that natsu is stronger in more intense situations where if he's just you know fighting he's like i'm all fired up but it's like you're not actually all fired up you just got like a little flame ignited and that's it like okay go sit down <laughs> um and then having god literally like you see the sweat starting to form on his cheek and he's like i'm out of here i don't want to be embarrassed that badly i'd rather like lox is not lox sorry god is literally like I'd rather be known as like a coward than like get my ass beaten one punch. Like if Natsu got taken down that quickly, I'm fucked, dude. <laughs> so I love that. That was so unexpected that Natsu just went down in a hit. <laughs> so I I did like that. That was, that was a really good time. <laughs> I'm having a great time watching Fairy Tale. This was really, really fun. So thank you guys so much for continuing to support me watching Fairy Tale. I know that you guys are having just as much fun as I am and engaging with it because I enjoy it. Um, as I kind of said, Fairy Tale was one that was really popular when I was a bit younger. And when I would go to conventions, I would always see people dressed up as Fairy Tale or like the fairy tale like tattoos on people or they would draw it on them or like the fairy tale emblem on necklaces like it was really popular merch in the cosplays at the time so i'd always see people but i just never i just never watched it so this is really fun i'm having a great time finally getting to experience fairy tale and i know and as of whenever you guys actually see this episode it has been already airing for quite a few weeks but i know the hundred year war started which e I'm sorry, like we're not going to get through another 200 episodes of fairy tale <laughs> to catch up to that. But I am excited that there is more fairy tale to watch and that our journey, you know, gets to continue on. <laughs> so thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this with me. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure you guys 
hit that like button down below. That way I know you guys are awesome and I will see you all later. Bye.